We're now going to focus on the all-important impact zone, golf's real golden rule. The movement where most players go wrong, but where all good players go right. So here we are, correctly positioned at the start of the impact zone. The shaft of the club is held above the hands at this point, but now, watch what happens. The right hand releases the club shaft to point below the hands. The core and hips are rotating at the same time, adding power and accuracy to your strokes, with the club face now looking squarely at the ball a long time before you actually make contact with it. You'll often hear a top golfer talk about compressing the golf ball, but what do they actually mean by that? Here you can see me in the impact position with the right hand fully releasing the club face as I strike the ball. The trunk and hips have rotated, and the feeling I have here is of the right hand pushing the club downwards, almost squeezing the ball out of the turf. That's compression. Here you can see we're moving through to the other side of the impact zone. The ball is now well on its way, and you can see the club face is held squarely in relation to the shoulders. The arms have also maintained their radius in relation to the body throughout. I'm now going to show you how not to do an impact zone position. You can see here, as we enter the impact zone position, we do look reasonably correct. But in fact, if I carry on further, you'll notice there's absolutely no release of the right hand at all. The club face is held very open, and there's been no release of the right hand side of the body either in conjunction with the release of the right hand. Totally wrong.